Good morning and welcome back to a new Life Builds episode. In today's video, I'm gonna be going and picking up a snowmobile for the channel. Let's get started. Yes, you heard that right. Snowmobiling season has begun and I am stoked. I have about a four hour drive down to Boise, Idaho where I'm gonna be picking up a 2012 Polaris RMK 800 with pretty low mileage. And I'm really excited to bring you guys along on this because I absolutely love snowmobiling. So I'm in the Ford Expedition, you can see that. And behind me, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but I have a U-Haul trailer because I have not purchased a snowmobile trailer for this season yet, but that's coming soon. I'm also going to be getting a second snowmobile so that Zoya has something to ride. But let's get started on this four hour road trip and go pick up our new sled. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes away from picking up the snowmobile. Here I am with the Expedition. I got the U-Haul trailer because I haven't picked up my trailer yet. And the next clip will be me actually having purchased the snowmobile. I doubt I'll be able to film. It's just me driving. And so I'm gonna be doing negotiations and whatever. But I will, get, I will show you guys as soon as I pick up the new sled. And I am stoked. Pretty long drive, about four hours. But honestly, for a snowmobile, can't be happier. Let's look at that snowmobile. Already we've arrived at the sled. Here's a little sneak peek of it. Looking pretty nice. Let's go meet with the seller and see if we can come up to a reasonable price. Alrighty, just like that, we have purchased the new 2012 Polaris RMK 800. Let me show you around it. So as far as I know, it's got a 155 track on it. It's incredibly clean. It's in really good shape as far as I can tell. Coming around to this side, you can see that there's no damage on it. The track is in good shape. Heated grips, electric start, all that works. So I'm really stoked. Now let's get this thing strapped down and turn around and start heading back home another four hours. Okay, I finished strapping down the snowmobile. As you can see, she's all secured. We're currently gassing up the Expedition. And then we're gonna start driving four hours home, which is gonna be really rough because I'm already tired, but here we go. We'll go get some snacks at the gas station and then we'll catch you guys in a few hours. Alrighty, we got the essentials, caffeine and jerky. Let's get back on the road and I'll catch you guys at home. Alrighty, we're about an hour away from my house and I'm just stopping, checking to make sure the sled's still tied down nice. And uh, it's been raining really hard. We have one more mountain pass to go over, but Everything looks good, and I'll catch you guys at the garage. Alrighty guys, we have a little bit of an update here. I've just gone over a local pass called Dead Man's Pass. Um, it's, it's known for being a pretty rough pass because it's pretty high in elevation as well as very, very steep climb up. So it's about a six mile climb up. And then consequently when you're coming back, six miles of downhill, a lot of crashes happen on it each year. Um, and so currently I've just crossed Dead Man's Pass. And if you guys remember this morning, some of the footage, it showed that it was really, really raining as we we're going up those passes. Well, this afternoon it froze and it actually turned into snow and ice, all that rain turned into ice. So I was slipping and sliding the entire way up over that pass. Um, and that six mile downhill section was very, very stressful. But 
We didn't crash, we made it out safely, and I just want to give you guys that update. We are about 20 minutes from my house, and we're gonna up, we're gonna unload the sled in the garage, and then we're on to the next adventure. Alrighty, guys, nine very very long hours later, we have made it home with the new sled. Here it is. Um, I'm gonna to be tossing it in the garage real quick. And then once I get the second sled in the trailer, it's gonna to go to a different spot to store. But for now, we're gonna throw it in the garage. I'll show you guys that process and then I'm gonna go get some sleep. Alrighty guys, holiday mug, you know what that means. It is time for another snowmobile. As you can see behind me, we picked up a new snowmobile trailer for the channel. I came home for the holiday season and was shopping on Facebook Marketplace, found a hell of a deal and uh, went and picked it up. So now we are on our way to go find the next snowmobile. I just messaged the seller. He's about 15 minutes away from me and we're gonna go pick this up and hopefully purchase the next snowmobile for the channel. See you guys in a second. We're 10 minutes from the snowmobiles. And I wanted to tell you guys just a little bit about what we're looking at today. This is gonna be a 2011 Skidoo Summit 800. And this is actually gonna be a snowmobile for Zoya this year. Last year we had two sleds and she really enjoyed snowmobiling. I enjoyed it a lot too. And we're hoping to get her a little bit more comfortable on sleds this year. So that's why we're picking up this sled today. I'm really grateful that Zoe was able to come along on this trip because she was working on the day we had to go to Boise last week to go pick up the other sled. So it's really nice to have company. But we're about 10 minutes out from the snowmobile and I will catch you guys as soon as we make the sale. Alrighty guys, here is the newest sled for the channel. This is the 2011 Skidoo Summit 800R. It is the Rev XP 154 model. And I know what you're thinking right now. It looks a little rough, but here's my plans for the sled. It has been sitting for about a year and a half, which is why all these plastics look faded. So I got a few options for that. I'll tell you about that in a second. One of the cool things that came with this sled is it came with a brand new backcountry access tunnel bag, as well as a snowmobiling backpack with some avalanche probes and some other miscellaneous gear, which is super exciting. I did a compression test on the, on the sled, 120 on both cylinders which is really, really good. One, I'm, one thing I'm gonna be doing for this sled is I'm either going to be doing some plastic restore, which would be helping with all these plastics, or I'm gonna be doing a wrap on the sled because I think that would look really, really cool. Tell me in the comments what you guys think would be awesome for this sled, but here we are, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll buy another sled. You never know. Already, just like that, we are back home and I have both my sleds loaded on the trailer. I'm gonna tell you about them just a little bit before we close out the vlog. So a few days ago, you guys watched me pick up this 2012 Polaris RMK 800. And a few days ago, I picked up this Skidoo Summit 800. Both of them, I got relatively good deals on them. I wouldn't say they were phenomenal prices because this year, both of the sleds I was planning to buy were like $1,000 or more over what I paid last year. So it was a little bit rough. That's why it's so much later in the season. I was hoping to get sleds by like September. And here we are, end of November. But with that being said, we're basically at riding season and I'm gonna show you around these sleds a little bit and then I'll close up today's vlog. So here's a quick walk around of the sleds. Both of them have really good tracks on them. This one's a little dirty, but I'm gonna get that washed up. They're both 155s. This is a 2011, this is a 2012. And I wanna show you around a little bit. You see how the plastics are pretty faded? In tomorrow's video, I'm gonna be doing a whole video on how to restore these plastics. And I got a few twists at the end. We're gonna make this sled look phenomenal. Here's the trailer I picked up. And there you go. This is the sleds we're gonna be riding for the season. So make sure to stay tuned for part two because I'm gonna be doing a lot to both of these sleds. They're gonna be looking really, really nice. And I'm gonna be walking you through the whole process of how to make your sled look brand new again. With that being said, make sure to smash that subscribe button, like this video, throw a comment down below what you like on this video. If you think I should wrap this, if I should just do the plastic restore and I'll catch you guys next week.